and it's just a Halloween bonanza. Now this whole video is just gonna be me about just me talking about a few about a few uh, Halloween movies. So let's get to it. All right, first we get Clue. Clue is a is a kind of like a quirky kind of comedy movie, and it's a mystery starring uh, Christopher Lee and Tim Curry, where they try to find out and. Well, they get together with a bunch of other people in this mansion, and they try to find out who the killer is. It's it's a little too long for my sort of taste, but it's pretty good. It's fairly funny too. Um, it's got multiple endings, so you know, look out for that. We also got Troll Hunter, which is a movie about um, these kids trying to find this troll, this troll hunter, who actually does hunt trolls. And I am to trolls, mind you. Uh, trolls that actually live in uh, this European country where they're actually doing this movie and try to fight off um, whatever trolls that come their way. It's, an, it's very interesting, kind of like found footage documentary ish. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Hellboy is a superhero movie starring a demon named Hellboy. Uh, it's just your fun kind of action comedy with uh, with your superhero as a demon. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty neat. Uh, go check it out. John Dies at the End is a quirky kind of self-aware movie where it, uh, where it's kind of like it kind of it's kind of like one of those movies where the character where the main character knows uh, the that he's been through some stuff and he's going to tell you what, like what's the real what's really going on in this world supernaturally yeah it's a it's pretty cool uh if you don't like spiders though don't watch it and i will leave it at that um white zombie is a movie starring barry lugosi it's it's very old but it's pretty it's pretty good um it's basically about Bella Gozi has controlled this woman and her husband has to go find her and get her back. And how will he get her back? Well, you just watch and find out. Uh, Tucker, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil is it's, it's a comedy it's a comedy horror movie. And with, with less lean on the horror, but it's a it's a very funny take on on slasher chainsaw movies. And I'll leave it at that because and this is a, it's a cool twist in there, so I, I feel like you have to watch it yourself. Um, Shivers, or they came from a friend, is a is a movie. <laughs> uh, I watched this movie recently, and uh, it's a movie where people. Okay, you know what? It's an old movie. I'm so I'm just gonna spoil it for you. Okay, so people, so this guy was experimenting on these bugs, okay, and he made these bugs into some kind of aphrodisiac monster when he experimented on one of his students. Gross. And he was having an affair with that student. Also gross. And that student was very much younger than he was. And this is getting extremely grosser. So let's move on. And that's kind of like the movie. It, these these creatures break out and they start having doing creepy stuff. It's just a creepy movie, honestly. Yeah, check it out if you're interested. Shadow of the Vampire. Shadow of the Vampire is kind of, is um not even kind of it's like a behind the scenes look at of Nosferatu sort of. Except, um, Max Shrek is actually really a vampire, and his name isn't, isn't even Max Shrek. It's, uh, Count, Count Orlock. And you, and you really see what, how, uh, and you see, really see how it goes. Well, not really see, but, you know. It's a really interesting movie, actually. Um, it stars Willem Dafoe, too, so, you know, check that out. Scream 1 and 2, you know, this guy. Uh, it's one of my favorite slasher films of all time. It's funny, it's quirky, it's uh, very unique. I, I, I 
love it. Um, check them out. Like, you you won't be disappointed. At least the first two. The first two are the ones I count as the best. The other the other the other ones I don't feel you know come come up to the caliber. And those and now I'm sorry. And now we got Nosferatu. Nosferatu is the original Count or Olaf, not the Shadow of a Vampire. Nosferatu is one of the D horror movies to watch. If you're a filmmaker or just a horror fanatic fan, you should really check it out. I'm not gonna, I'm not spoiling anything, honestly. It's basically about um, this guy is trying to sell a, a building to a vampire right next to his house. And it kind of goes from there. The vampire starts killing and just sees horrible, horrible things uh, arrive. It's really creepy. It does have a really creepy atmosphere. And I think it is, I think it does deserve the title of one of the, one of the most influential film of all time. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. I could not find for the life of me Nightmare on Elm Street 1 on Netflix. So yeah. And it, I feel that Nightmare on Elm Street 2 is pretty good. But um, it doesn't really come close to Nightmare on Elm Street 1. But for my money, I would still buy it on Blu-ray. Uh... Basically, the main character starts feeling, uh, having these weird thoughts of seeing Freddy, and he also finds one one of the characters' diary from the first movie, and from there he starts becoming Freddy. Freddy starts taunting him. He starts he starts wearing Freddy's clothes. He even starts see Freddy even kills him, and he's and he's and the main character is alone. And it's, it's really interesting just to see how it plays out. Um, Carrie is about a girl um, who has psychic powers, like in almost every Stephen King movie book. Well, not okay, not every Stephen King movie, but about a few of them. Anyway, uh, Carrie's about a girl with psychic powers, with a mom, with a, a really abusive, psychopathic Christian mother, and she just has a horrible life, honestly. And honestly, you kind of do root for her a bit because the other girl is kind of a jerk. And when those people are laughing at her in the um, in the high school, I don't know. It's just it's just really messed up. It's a really good movie though, so check it out. The Toxic Avenger. Only watch this if you watch Avision. The Angry Video Game Nerd. This is where I think. This is movie, This is the movie where he learns all his craft, all his movie type craft. Cause this movie is it. It reeks of it reeks of James Rolfe style. It it does to me, and it's like it's really cool. I like it, but I don't think the majority of the population would really like it. But if you are interested, check it out. It's kind of like an indie film where it's really raunchy and really. <laughs> dark and gross and just but the effects are really decent for an indie title so I will give it that and it's just like John dies at the end like John dies at the end it's one of the it's an interesting quirky thing it's it's a thing <laughs> not another film anymore it's a thing um but yeah Rosemary's Baby Rosemary's Baby doesn't even feel like a horror movie to me I mean it's, it's very creepy and the atmosphere heavy and but it doesn't feel like a horror movie. It feels more like a kind of a haunting feeling like like what the hell is going on in this movie you know yeah you know it, it's it's more creepy than anything but I feel like if you don't like uh, creepy uh, 666 movies then don't watch it but if you are interested in to check out the movies you should. I'm not going to spoil anything because I feel like the reveal of the movie is better if you don't watch it. But then again, this movie's already been out for a year, so you can spoil yourself. I will not spoil it for you. <laughs> Adam's Family. The Adam's Family is a quirky family movie where 
uh, basically the Adamses are gothic, uh, high on life people where they do really creepy stuff. I don't know. It's n I think they're pretty normal actually. <laughs> I mean, of, among the families I've seen, you know, even me, I don't think I'm that normal. Unless you don't think I'm normal. But anyway, yes, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's 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 fun, you know. If you do see if your your friends or family, I'm pretty sure you'll probably have a good time. You know, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, this is a movie I always look forward to, Halloween or Christmas. It, it's it's fun. It's the songs are nice. It's a beautiful masterpiece. Uh, one of my favorite Tim Burton films of all time. Basically, uh. The whole film is stop motion and is set in the world of Halloween, and this uh, and this character named Jack Skeleton uh, gets kind of tired of Halloween of doing it year after year after year, and it's been doing it for probably like a, min a millennium, because you know Halloween's been here forever. So he goes off to another 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 world called Christmas Town, where he. Uh, Meets where he meets all kinds of Christmas like characters like Santa Claus and the elves, and he takes that for himself and becomes a nightmarish Halloween Christmas. Sorry, and from there it goes and, and it goes from there. It's really, it's really interesting and really fun. And even though it's a Halloween movie, it's really a beat, and the colors in the movie is just beautiful, honestly. I, I I know that's like kind of obvious commentary, but I, I love, I, I really do love that movie. It, it's redundant. <laughs> um, Cabin, in Wood, Cabin in the Woods. This is another movie that I really love. Um, actually, I really can't spoil it for you. Uh, it's another movie that I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm sorry. Um, basically, I'm basically going to say three, three, not even three, like, uh, five archetype um, characters: the Virgin, uh, the Naughty Girl, the Jock, the Nerd, and the and the guy who's high, all go to the cabin, and stuff happens at that cabin. Horror stuff. Now, was doing all that stuff? You will find out. It's a, it, it's one of those movies where people pledge to themselves. That not not to spoil anything, and I won't. So I'm sorry. The Frighteners is a movie. Um, the Frighteners is a movie is kind of like Ghostbusters kind of feel. Where I'm sorry, I heard something. Um, it's kind of a Ghostbusters type of feel where it, it's very quirky and um, and very comedy heavy. Uh, there's a there's a lot of funny stuff in this movie actually it's it's a weird movie and I don't think it's for everybody but if you do watch it go ahead and watch it's like uh, it's kind of just it's kind of just about this guy who uh, who's trying to um who's trying to con people into um into being haunted because he has these ghosts working for him. And from there, it's kind of creepy. It's kind of funny already. And also, while he's doing that, there's also this ghost of death who's killing, who's killing the living. And he has to find out what's going on. Um, Scooby-Doo, Ghoul School. Yeah, you know that Scooby-Doo is going to come up eventually. Uh, I... A lot of people that say they don't really like Scooby Doo, I always like Hannah Barbera cartoons, especially Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo being one of my favorites, and I love, I, I love this, uh, uh, this, this special um they have here, and I, I just always loved um, I just always loved the special because it, it's a it's unique because um Shaggy and Scooby and Scrappy all go to um. It's school school and they start teaching excuse me uh, start, they start teaching these uh, little girls how to be athletes 
While I never thought Shaggy and Scooby would be that great of athletes, they do sure run a lot, so. But um, anyway, I always love I always love this movie. So if you do want to check it out, go ahead and do it. It's 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 fun, you know, for kids and people who are Scooby Doo enthusiasts like I am. So yeah, go ahead. Also, the next one we got is Pirates of the Caribbean, the first one. Uh, the reason why I don't have all the other ones, like uh, Dead Man's Chest and World at World's End and A Stranger's Ties, is because I don't feel like uh, they have that horror element that the first one had. The first one kind of had like at least a ghost story going on for it. And while um, the other ones kind of do have a creepy vibe too, I don't feel like it has that either. Next we have Hotel Transylvania. Where it stars Adam Sandler and Andy Sandberg and Selena Gomez. I can read that all right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, it's a fun family movie where I don't, where I don't really like the songs that much, but uh, the film itself is pretty, is pretty good. Um, you know, if you're into um, kind of a quirky family horror movies like Adam's Family, Adam's Family and Scooby Doo. Uh, Hotel Transylvania is right up your alley. It's uh, basically about, um, well, you know, you know what it's about already. I, I don't even think I can go into spoil anything. But for the people that don't, uh, basically, Dracula shuts everyone out from from uh, from the world because his wife died, and because his wife died, he also has a daughter. And he shields, she shields her from the world, from humans, because he's also afraid of humans. And so is the rest of the monster, monster population. So every year of Halloween, they get together, they have this party, and and a human comes in, comes through. And through that, shenanigans ensues. And, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the human falls in love with the daughter, the human starts having fun with all the, with all the other monsters. Uh, it's really, it's really funny. It's really funny, and it's made. And the animation, and the film is by uh, Jindy Tarakovsky, the same man who done um, uh, Dexter's Laboratory and Samurai, Samurai Jack. Those are, those are one of my two favorite cartoons of all time. So you know, I had to get that. Also, he's gonna, he's gonna be uh, making a Popeye movie. So check that out. And finally, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. While not a good movie at all. The movie is fun, it's, it's dumb, and it's dumb action, and it has vampires. It has Abraham Lincoln killing vampires in it. You don't need to know about the plot. You don't need to know about anything. This movie has Abraham Lincoln killing vampires. That's all you need. It is. Screw my rating. Screw if it's a bad movie. Just go ahead and check it out for yourself. It's Abraham Lincoln killing vampire hunters. Do it. And I'll kill you. I will. Down camera stop. Anyway, I'm sorry for talking so fast that you couldn't hear me, <laughs> but that's basically my ha Halloween uh, playlist of this whole of this whole month. And thank you for watching, and take care. Is that recording? Actually, let me check.